بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو دا آن لائن اسٹڈی سیشن آف سفا انٹلیکچوئل اسکول دس از این انگلش کلاس فار گریٹ فائیو آئی ایم یور انگلش ٹیچر اینڈ ٹو ڈے وی ول ڈو سم ریڈنگ دس از دا ٹائٹل آف یور بک وچ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ریڈ ٹو ڈے یور ایٹ نمبر ٹو ایلیفنٹس We are about to read uh, about some elephants. I will read the lesson and explain it to you afterwards. The objectives of this lesson are to learn the correct style of reading, pronunciation, spelling the meanings of new words, which, will, which I will provide to you, and a new terminology that is called factual recount. As you can see in the picture, this is the page which we are going to read. This is the unit which we are going to read today, page number seven. Before the start of reading, I will tell you what is a factual recount. A factual recount is a description of an event that happened in the past and states facts. Factual means based on facts and reality and recount means retelling the event or story. So altogether, factual recount means a retelling of a factual story. Okay, so whatever facts you have experienced, you are going to retell them. So in this lesson, we are going to tell all the facts about elephants. Now, before starting our reading, you have to open page number seven of your book, grab a pencil and underline the mentioned words, which I will mention you during the reading. Listen attentively because I'm going to read first, then I will explain. So throughout you have to listen very attentively so that you can learn pronunciation and Correct style of reading. Then I'll tell you difficult words with which are mentioned and meanings are displayed. I will only explain it to you. So get ready for the reading. Being in the safari park was not his first experience. Every time he went there with his family, the giant elephants attracted his attention. He was always amazed at this wonderful creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is so huge and powerful, yet so friendly. This time around, there was a new attraction in the park. What was that? It was the baby elephant, the calf. The people around were keen to pose with the baby elephant for pictures. Just then, he noticed something very conspicuous. Now you have to underline in this paragraph, conspicuous, which is a new word for you, to pose as well. Mother elephant was trying to protect her newborn from the strangers. Mother elephant is so caring and protecting for her baby. He thought to himself. With these thoughts in mind, he went home fascinated with elephants. In this paragraph, you have to underline protective and fascinated. How big elephants can get? Are they the largest animals on earth? He googled it. And yes, he was right. Elephants are the largest land mammals. The largest elephant on record was a male elephant who weighed approximately 10,886 kilograms and stood 13 feet tall at the shoulder. He looked for more information. That is what he found out. There are two types of elephants, the Asian elephant and the African elephant. African elephants are the largest of the two species. 
they are classified further into two species, the African forest elephant and the African bush elephant. They grow up to 13 feet tall and weigh 2,268 to 6,350 kilograms. Asian elephants can grow up to 10 feet tall and weigh about 2,041 to 4,990 kilograms. What other features make both species different from each other? The most noticeable physical differences can be seen in the head shapes, ears and tusks of both elephants. African elephants have fuller, more rounded heads, whereas Asian elephants have twin doomed heads with an indent in the middle. African elephants have much bigger ears that reach up and over the neck. All African elephants, male and female, have tusks, but only male Asian elephants have tusks. The skin of African elephant is wrinkled and that of Asian elephant is smoother. One more thing, the African elephant's trunk is more heavily ringed but it is not as hard as that of the Asian elephant. What do they eat? Do they eat meat like some other wild animals? No, elephants are herbivores and eat almost anything like leaves, grass, barks, twigs, bushes, shrubs, fruits and flowers. But they are really wise about their food choice, so to keep strong and healthy. It is no surprise that elephants eat a lot of food. African elephants eat as much as about 300 kilograms per day. The smaller Asian elephants eat less, but still a lot as compared to us, about 150 kilograms a day. Adult elephants drink around 210 liters of water a day. Oh yes, it's the amount of food they eat that makes them gigantic. How merciful Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is who provides food to every small and big creature. While searching the internet, he found another surprising fact. And that was the most interesting part of his search. Elephants can swim. Yes, that's true. They are excellent swimmers. They swim completely submerged with their heads above the water and use their four legs to paddle. They use their trunk as a snorkel to breathe in deep water. They enjoy playing in the water. What is a baby elephant like? A baby elephant weighs about 90 kilograms at the time of birth. It is about three feet tall. It is very innocent and doesn't really know what to do with its trunk. It swings and sometimes even steps on its trunk. It can't see very well at the start, but can recognize its mother by touch, smell, and sound. Are they intelligent? Elephants are considered very intelligent and social animals. They can be trained very easily. Their brain is three to four times larger than that of a human being although smaller as compared to their body weight. They are very friendly. They cry, play, hug, and laugh. They have greeting ceremonies when a friend who has been away for a long time come to meet them. Despite all of these interesting facts, one thing made him sad. Elephants are one of the endangered species in the world. 
today, the most serious threats of elephants are large-scale illegal ivory trade and habitat loss. Why don't we follow the teachings of the Holy Prophet وسلم, who advise us to treat animals kindly? We are also answerable to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for our behavior towards animals. Why are we so cruel, such friendly creature? He inquired to himself. He thought deeply and that was the moment when he made a firm resolution to do something for these innocent creatures. He decided to do his bit to save animals. After reading all the chapter, I'm going once again towards page number one, which we have started, page number seven, and I'm going to explain each and everything paragraph wise one by one. In the first paragraph, he says that uh, the safari park was not new for him because he went several times to safari park, but the main attraction of the safari park was the elephants because they were very big and powerful, but still they were very friendly, not dangerous. Then in the next paragraph, he explains that why that day the park was busy and very attractive because there was a baby elephant there. A small baby elephant is called a calf. So the calf was there and everybody was taking picture with the calf. Then in the next paragraph, he actually explains that the fascination of the, that person, the fascination of the boy, he says that how fascinated he is just because the elephant, mother elephant was so protective about her baby. Then in the next paragraph, he says that the, the largest animals of earth, you can see that he's actually going to Google the elephants. And when he Googled it, he came to find, found out that there were weights weigh 10,886 kilograms and 13 feet tall bigger elephants are around this world. So <clears throat> then in the next paragraph, he tells about the types of elephants, Asian and African. African elephants are of two types, forest elephants and the bush elephants. Asian elephants are simple. And he tells the sizes of them that they grow 13 feet tall and 2,268 to 6,350 kilograms uh, are the weights of those elephants. Asian elephants have normally 10, they, they have 10 uh, feet tall, uh, their height, and they, they have 2,041 or 4,990 kilograms weight. In the next paragraph, he explains all about elephants, the difference between Asian and African elephants, and we will discuss it in, in a detail afterwards. Uh, this is important because they both are different in their shape and size and even uh, uh, the, the, body, uh, the body shape as well. So we will discuss this, this, this part later. Then in this paragraph, we are going we are studying the habits of eating of an elephant and what and what an elephant eats okay so it eats grass and leaves and bark twig bushes shrub fruits and flowers and all sort of green green plants okay because it is herbivore then uh, in this paragraph also it tells it how much uh, an elephant can eat and then three kilogram, th 300 kilograms per day and uh, that is too much okay then in the next paragraph he uh, uh, also provides an information about uh, elephants that they can swim and they swim submerged means completely underwater only you can see the skin of them and they paddle with their legs then uh, the information is about elephants, that uh, baby elephant, that they are so uh, tiny still, they, they weigh 90 kilograms, okay, so they're heavy. And uh, th when they are so small, they don't know what to do th with their trunks. So normally they step on their trunk and fall, uh, but they, they can't see, but they can recognize uh, their mother. 
Then we uh, are going to learn about elephants. So they're very intelligent and their brain is three to four times bigger than the human beings. But still, they're very friendly. They cry, hug, laugh, and play. Then uh, there's one important fact written here that is in the greeting ceremonies, when a friend who has been away for a long time comes to meet them, they actually greet them. Okay, they have greeting ceremony. That is really uh, fascinating about them. Then the last um, paragraph tells a very sad story about elephants that they are going to be as extinct or they're endangered because they're dying out. But they are ending. And the, uh, the reason of their dying is that one thing is that the, there is a large scale illegal ivory trade. Means ivory means they have the tusks. That tusks are made up of ivory, some part of the ivory. Ivory is a very expensive kind of material. So people actually kill elephants to get their teeth, the, those teeth which are uh, with their trunk, uh, the bigger teeth. And also, uh, we are cutting all the jungles because we want to live there and we want to build our houses there. But elephants can't live without trees and they can't live without their habitat, the place where they live. And if you cut all the forests, they, they wouldn't be able to live. So that's why they are dying out. And in the end of the paragraph, it is the resolution of the writer that he will save the animals, but he is question he is he's actually questioning to us and himself the why we are doing this to such an innocent animal. Why we are killing them? Why we are defying uh, the uh, the teachings of Holy Prophet? He actually advised us to love animals, but we, what we are doing, we are doing it wrong and we shouldn't do it because it's such a friendly creature and it's so lovely. We should give him space to live. Okay, so these, this is the, uh, the lesson which, which is given in this factual recount. Now we will do a quick review on African elephant and Asian elephant. You can see that African elephant has big ears as compared to Asian elephant, which is smaller ears. You can see that big ears and small ears. Then we have the African elephant that has more wrinkles on its uh, trunk, basically, like this look, wrinkles and lines, indents. Okay, and Asian elephant has more smoother skin and it has less lines in it. Then you can see that uh, the tusk style is the same, but as we have learned about African elephants, that they have only, that only male, uh, Asian elephants, that the only male has uh, uh, tusks, not female. Now we'll see what are the differences. African elephant has fuller rounded head, Bigger years, all male and female have tusks, wrinkled skin, heavily ringed, soft trunk. As compared to Asian elephants, those who have twin doomed head with indents. They have fuller rounded head, they have twin doomed head. Then smaller ears, they have bigger ears, they have smaller ears. All male and female have tusks and they have only male have tusks. Wrinkled skin, smoother skin. And then heavily ringed soft trunk and lightly ringed hard trunk. So <clears throat> basically, uh, they have only a structural difference, and otherwise they are elephants. Okay. Uh, during our uh, lesson, we've learned three new words. One is snorkel. I want to explain it. What is snorkel? Snorkel is Look, this, this is the snorkel. Snorkel is the swimming device which is used when we go underwater diving, okay? Uh, underwater swimming. Normally people go underwater swimming and they, they learn and they study about animals and the uh, uh, underwater world. So they use this tube, kind of a tube, which they put in their mouth from one side, the other side remains in the water they breathe in this tube and that is called snorkel. So elephants use their trunks and trunks too. These trunks, you can see these trunks, okay? This trunk they, they use 
to uh, as a sonko. Then we have the other uh, picture here, this trunk, this. Uh, the other picture is uh, we have learned about tusks. So this is the tusk. You can see that. This is the tusk. And the next picture is the ivory. When we've refined this tusk, the ivory, you can see the, the uh, material on it. It is called ivory. So these are the words we learn in this lesson. Now we are going to review the vocabulary. Uh, to pose, we were studied one word to pose, to stand on or sit in a particular position to be photographed. When you're going to be photographed, you sit like you pose like that. That is called to pose. Conspicuous, easy to see or noticed, likely to attract attention. Like conspicuous means when, you, when something is very noticeable, you can see it very clearly. Protective means having a wish to protect something or someone when you're very protective about something. Fascinated means very interested. Indense means a line from the middle. Lines, those lines which were on the elephant's face. Tusks, long curved teeth that stick out of the mouth of an elephant. I have already showed you the picture of tusk. Tusk are the long teeth that are coming out of the elephant mouth. Then wrinkled, having small folds or lines in the skin. Wrinkles like folds in the skin when you get older. Ringed, having rings. Herbivores, animals that eat only plants. Okay. Box, the outer covering of tree. Then submerged, to go under surface of water. Snorkel, a tube that you can breathe air through when you are swimming. An ivory, a hard, creamy, white substance composing the main part of the tusk of an elephant. So now you know the vocabulary. I will provide the soft copy of the vocabulary to you, to the WhatsApp group. You will be easily uh, able to write that vocabulary in your notebook. Your home task is that you have to read the chapter again, same as I have uh, read it for you. Then you have to write vocabulary in your notebook. You have to write the vocabulary that I will be giving you. You have to write that in your notebook. Then learn the definition of factual recon, which is very easy. And it, all, it is also provided in your book. So open your book and check where is the factual recon definition. And then you have to learn it and understand it. Thank you very much, Lars. This was really interesting. And I hope you've enjoyed the lesson. Inshallah, we will be reconnected in the next lesson. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz.